Welcome to Yolo, Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. It is incredible what we can find right here in Texas. Check out heart racing attractions. And taste mouth-watering foods this great state has to offer. This is getting hot. Oh, that's right so bone. That's how I know it's good. This is delicious. Why, you ask? Well, to simply put it, you only live once, Texas. What's up, y'all, and welcome to Yellow Texas, your official roadmap for all the things to do and places to see right here in the Lone Star State. I'm your host, AC, and on this week's episode, we'll satisfy your sweet tooth with delicious treats in McKinney. Plus, we'll sit in the passenger seat as we check out celebrity cars from your favorite films and television franchises. But first, we're gonna do something fun with waves. You know, with the latest technology advances, E-Wave Surf uses an electric motor to give you that gnarly shred even without the giant swells. So join Ariel as she hangs loose and Bernie with the one and only E-Wave Jet Surf. Bernie, Texas, referred to as the hub of the hill country, is known for its elevated cuisine, fabulous shopping, and Texas-sized hospitality. The Yolo Texas crew is no stranger to this Texas town. It's brought us together and showed us a good time. But this time around, we're in for a different experience. Hey y'all, we are out here in Bernie at this beautiful lake. Now, one of Texans' favorite water activities is surfing. So imagine surfing without the waves and wakeboarding without the boat. That's what we're gonna try today with the new E-Wave surfboard. Bernie City Lake is the perfect location for us to learn and try our hand at the E-Wave experience. And there is no one better to show us these modern surfboards than an old friend of the show. Y'all remember Dana? A professional moto surfer who was the first racer to represent the United States on the Moto Surf World Cup International Racing Circuit. Well, he's back and excited to share the future of electric motorized surfing. Dana. Thank you for having us out here. What have you been doing for the past three years? Since uh, we did the version about racing uh, these amazing uh, jet style boards, yeah. we've been working on trying to bring the uh, adrenaline sport of jet boarding to, to the public. Okay, so tell me all about it, because the last one was a gas powered board, correct? Correct, so the previous like versions were gas powered. We want it to be easy to use, eco-friendly, family friendly, and the only way to accomplish that in our vision was to do it through electric. So it's just literally plug and play surfing on demand. So is it kind of like the Tesla of surfboards? Yeah, we'd like to call ourselves that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is awesome. So you've been very, very busy. Yes, yes, to say the least. <laughs> this is all electric, battery powered. This is for everybody now. So yes. how does someone learn to ride it? You find a dealer who's um, doing lessons and selling the boards. And we're at Hill Country Paddle Sports. So they're one of our newest dealers. And it's why we're here. It's Bernie City Lake. So it's an amazing location, as you'll see and uh, you go do a lesson with them and see if it's right for you. The team at eWay wanted to make this a general recreation sport. So we developed a training wheels okay, for the I board. Already. Yeah, you put, we blow up this tube that the board sets in and it just turns into a totally stable board. You get used to the balance from that. So we have people that go from training to intermediate level, like literally one lesson. You were one of the first moto surfers here in the country. So how have you seen the sport evolve? It was initially a niche sport for just uh, the few extreme adrenaline junkies, but uh, we knew it could be a mainstream sport. With the technology development of the electric versions, the sport in the last 12 months, the attention that's been given to it, the amount of people coming to us to want to participate in it, is, it's literally on a hockey stick trajectory. It's getting super excited to be a part of it. I can't imagine what you're feeling seeing everything evolve and just develop and people falling in love with the sport. For me, when I saw the first image of this conceptually on the internet, I knew it was for me. So that's why I've just been totally immersed in it. I'm nervous, but I'm very, very excited to get out on the lake and try this. <laughs> we will get you moto surfing today. Before I left the shore, Dana showed me the ropes and gave me some tips on how to prepare for my ride on an E-Wave board. Here it is. E-Wave electric jet board. Taking a lot of effort and resources to make this as simplistic as it is to run. You can see 
It's the low profile on the side of a surfboard, but it's got a lot of gear inside it. Yeah. Um, Can we take a look inside it? You bet, you bet. So this is the battery lid right here, and you just lift it off, and there's the oh, battery. You just that's cool. plug it in, and you put the lid on. It's that then, simple. That simple. And then here's the handle. It's okay. a pistol grip throttle, and we have a safety key. And so if you're running it, oh. um, going, and you fall down, pulls it out and it stops, and you just swim right back up to it and get on. Um, when you're learning and beginning, we have, as I mentioned, the kind of training wheels for the board, yes. and that's what's right here is a training tube. Yeah. This makes everything so much better. We were trying to envision how do we bring the sport to the masses, as I mentioned. So we have the beginner version, of sense, to get people trained and learning. And then for those that want to go to the next higher level, this is the newest invention in uh, water sports is a foil board. And so just like instead of just riding on top of the water, when you're getting up on it you'll be riding uh -huh. you just start lifting up and flying, flying above the water okay we're gonna let you do that today <laughs> okay, okay. i'm gonna stick with this with the training wheel okay the training tool. but we'll get you rolling yes yes we will so after a few more pep talks and instruction it was time to try the e-wave board for myself Hey Ariel, as in any water sport activity safety first so yes. here is a life jacket that we'll have you put on I learned that the first step to becoming a moto surfer is to get acquainted with the board itself. The second step to becoming a moto surfer is not to have fear of falling into the water. Final step, just let it rip. Go all out, give it your all, and still don't be afraid to fall. Dana, that was amazing. So, in your opinion, how did I do? You did amazing today. You officially moto surfed. Thank you. Thank you for having us out again, letting us share our passion for the sport yes. and uh, coming out this beautiful lake and facility. To learn more about E Wave, surf your way to the link provided below. Coming up, we satisfy our sweet tooth at Goodies, Texas, only on Yolo Texas. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. Okay, if you're a fan of the show, you know we love our sweets. And honestly, who doesn't, right? So anytime we get a recommendation to get our hands on chocolate treats, you know we're always right there. So come with us to Goodies Texas in McKinney, Texas and browse their sweet selection. Okay, so if you have a sweet tooth just like me, then we have the place just for you. Goodies Texas is a chocolate shop in downtown McKinney with the sweetest selections to choose from. And get this, everything here is homemade, created with love and a little pinch of sugar. One, it smells delicious in here the yeah. moment that you walk in. So two, what are you serving up here? Uh, so we do an assortment of gourmet chocolates and candies, everything from incredible tiny little bite truffles to the best pecan griddle you've ever tasted. We make it all right here in downtown McKinney. Awesome, yeah, so why a chocolate shop of all things and why here in downtown McKinney? Well, downtown is a really unique destination, a lot different than a lot of other downtowns that you might run across. McKinney has a really amazing assortment of stores and being a part Part of this is just you know always been a dream for me like, right okay so now hard questions here you got a personal favorite anything spicy Ooh. yeah like what uh, like our spicy peanut butter cup or we do a spicy peanut butter and jelly truffle oh that yeah. sounds delightful That's a few awesome. different options well do you mind if we take a look in the back and see what it how it's all made let's head back let's do it all right <laughs> 
All right, so we're getting to work and we got to gear up as well. So we got our hair net, we got our apron, and we got some gloves. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> okay, Laura, so this is where all the magic happens. This is where it starts. This is our enrobing machine. Enrobed is anything you're covering in chocolate. So like a caramel, a piece of toffee, or in this case, Oreo. an Oreo. <laughs> so I'm gonna slide this under the chocolate waterfall we've got here. Just awesome. going down this belt. We've got it set at a certain speed so that it shakes off excess chocolate as it moves along. And we don't want a boring piece of chocolate that's just plain. So we're gonna put a little decoration on okay. it. So we just hit it with this fork and give it a couple stripes. So for the chocolate to dry completely, it goes into this air-conditioned belt, and it takes about five minutes from start to finish okay. until we have our final product. Woo! Okay, so you gotta keep them there. Do you mind if I taste one? Go for it. I can see all of our hard work, I gotta see. Oh, <laughs> my I'll, happy dance. I'll say that's a happy dance. So good, oh my goodness. Saltiness with the nice dark chocolate. Since you've graduated from enrobing school, <laughs> we'll move on to painting. Okay, painting. <laughs> awesome, let's do it. So a lot of people come in and they see our truffles, which are these gorgeous little bites of decadence, yes. right? And they're like, oh my gosh, they're too pretty to eat. And how do you do that? I'm gonna show you today how we paint our truffles. Yay, okay, good. So some people think that they get painted after they're made but we actually paint the mold before we ever pour the chocolate in. Interesting. So today we're working on our uh, caramel apple truffle. So you've got your mold here. Oh, cute. And so what we're gonna do is paint the leaf section green. Okay. And then just give it a swipe of red across the apple. We don't paint it all in, we just give it a little bit of red to let you know what it is. Okay, I can do that. And there's all kinds of different ways of painting. We have airbrushes that we use with cocoa butter. We'll do splatter painting. You know, just about as creative as you want to get in the kitchen. That but was easy enough for me to do. Was that okay? Looks good. Okay, we did it. Yes, apple. So on to the next step. We've got to put chocolate in here, create that shell, and then we pipe in the caramel apple ganache. Mmm, oh, yum. All okay. Right. And this is where the chocolatier comes in, pouring the chocolate into the molds, creating the shells, and smoothing out any bubbles found. From there, once the chocolate is hardened, add the caramel filling. I think you've already earned, after all your work, a piece of chocolate. So here is one of our caramel apple truffles ready for you to try. Oh my goodness, how exciting. Okay, look how beautiful that is, y'all. Y'all have it down to a science and an art, and I can see why it's a really popular place to come and a staple here in McKinney. So thank you for having us out here and getting our hands dirty. And uh, I see some more chocolates I need to taste test a little. We can probably get a few for you on your way out. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. In addition to the chocolate, Goodies Texas also offers gifts to go with those sweets. Pair your hot chocolate with the mug or puzzle to go with those truffles. Okay, so I think we have enough goodies to last us the rest of the week. We had such a sweet time here at Goodies Texas and I think I need to head out because I feel a crash from that sugar rush. I'll see y'all later. For a list of all the treats served up at the shop, visit GoodiesTexas.com for more information. Hey everyone, so for today, we're gonna be testing out a new product, a snow cone maker, a raspa maker, couple of ingredients with the syrups and your snow cone cups, which is perfect for the summer, cool down, and you don't have to go anywhere. It already came um, kind of assembled with the bowl and this auger. All you have to do is, you can see that there's like a little groove here. There's a little groove here. I'm gonna go ahead and snap that in. That's it, cool. Four simple steps into making this snow cone maker. All you have to do is add the ice. I'm kind of nervous. Never made a snow cone before. But I love me a good raspa. I love me a good stuffed snow cone. Okay, so you get your cup, you place it underneath, and I think you just make sure it's plugged in. Let her rip! It's making nice! 
Okay, cool. I'm just gonna make it look a little bit more beautiful. Yay, I did it. So excited. Okay, so now that we made this nice and beautiful, we're gonna grab our simple syrup. We got unicorn dust and cotton candy. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, is, is there like a top? <laughs> yeah. Is Wait. There? Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Opening the syrup. Nice is not Ah! So go ahead and open that. And all you have to do is just dress your snow cone. Be generous. We, we love a good mixture of all the flavors. Go ahead and do that. Looks good, tastes good. And get our straw. It smells so sweet and I love it. I need, it's getting melty, so I have to eat it. I'm gonna use my little straw. I'm so excited. A raspa right in front of you. Ta da! I did it, y'all! I did it! It tastes so good. It tastes like concession stands in summer on a maybe like a baseball night, you know, whenever they went foul ball and you chase the ball and bring it back to concession stands, get yourself a nice raspa as an award. <laughs> Brings me back. All you have to do is just get your snow cone maker and cups, grab a cup of ice, your simple syrups, whatever flavor you want, get creative, have yourself a nice snow cone. Okay, y'all, that is the end of our show for today. If you want more Yellow Texas in your life, follow us across all of our social media platforms and check out our website for previous episodes. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Until next time, remember it is a big world, so get out there and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. Be safe, y'all. Keep up with all things Yellow Texas and find out where we're off to next by following along every journey through Instagram.